Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and today we're talking all about my September favorites. Now I have a mother load and I mean the mother load of WW food favorites. I tried so many new fall pumpkin-y things as well as some other new things that I've been loving. I have a lot of WW food favorites for you. We have beauty, we have skincare, I have a home item we have a lot to talk about. So if you're excited, give this video a big, huge thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed. Your bell notification is turned on because I do a favorites every month and I actually upload five videos every single week. Check out the description box down below where you will find nutrition coaching. Highly recommend personalized macros and calories. This is how I myself have lost and maintained my 140 pound weight loss as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching for questions, accountability, or to talk with me directly. I will link everything I share with you today with the exception of foods that you can find at your local grocery store down in the description box. Any discount codes, all of that information will be down there. So definitely check that out as well as links and discounts to my other favorite things and come join my Facebook group. We would love to have you. So we got a lot, a lot, a lot. Let's jump in. with WW food favorites because like I said, I have a lot. I could have even added more, but I thought this video is going to be so long that we'll continue. I'll continue testing out some of these other WW foods and I'll share them with you in next month's favorites. The first WW food that I want to share, I actually want to sip on while I'm filming this video. And that is this kombucha from GT's. Now this is the gratitude kombucha. This is their fall flavor. I have get questions a lot if I still drink kombucha. I do. Not every single day. I typically don't even drink a whole bottle, usually about half in a sitting. Kombucha is fermented and so it's really good for your gut health. It's a good source of probiotics, prebiotics, and this gratitude flavor is my all-time favorite. It is apple, turmeric, carrot, and spices. So it has all the fall flavors and it is just so, so good. Not only does it taste amazing, but like I said, it's really, really good for your gut health. So I wanted to share this first because I'm excited to sip on this while we do today's favorites video. Next up, let's talk about coffee because you know, girl loves coffee. I have my profi, my protein coffee every morning. Speaking of favorites, actually, let me include this here first. It got me, it reminded me as we were talking about coffee. If you missed it, I officially have merch. Now I did release merch quite a while ago, years ago, Jen's WW Journey merch. Well, you know that I've recently transitioned from Jen's WW Journey to Jen Clayton. And so I made new merch and we've got profi merch, which is protein coffee. We have protein merch. The merch turned out so cute. I love all all of the artwork, the font. I actually ordered quite a few pieces, so stay tuned for future videos. I'll be wearing my merch and I'll share it with you, I'll let you know about the quality, but I will link my merch down below for you. It is so cute. And of course I had to get the Powered by Profi and the Profi Queen merch because I live for coffee. So now let's go back to where I was talking about coffee. So you know that I have a protein coffee every morning and then I typically, and then in the past I've been going and buying a coffee at Starbucks, Dunkin', Dutch Brothers, buying a second coffee every day, which adds up really quickly. Six, seven dollars a day adds up over the course of the month. So I decided, why don't I just make my own cold brew at home and then I can utilize all my favorite creamers and flavorings. I can make cold foam. So I've been having just a blast with cold brew. Now I tried multiple kinds, didn't like any of them until I found drag up. This is the only cold brew that I like. It is so good. This is the pumpkin AF. I have tried so many of their flavors and they are all incredible. It's smooth. It's not bitter and it makes the perfect cold brew. And this little bag right here makes a lot of cold brew. So I am saving hundreds of dollars a month making my cold brew at home in my cold brew pitcher. So this will be enough for today's coffee, but I bought this cold brew pitcher off of Amazon. You add your grinds, you add water, and you come out with perfect cold brew every time. So I've been loving this combo. I've been saving money. I've been getting to try out all the drag up flavors. So I'll link drag up down below with the discount and I'll link this Amazon cold brew pitcher. It's often on sale. So I'll link it down below for you, but this has changed the game for me. Like I said, I have a lot of pumpkin favorites because I love pumpkin anything. I just did a massive, massive, massive Trader Joe's haul yesterday where you saw that I went to Trader Joe's, spent almost $200, which is 
unheard of for Trader Joe's for me, but I bought all my favorite pumpkin things and I've tried them all. So I wanna share with you what I've been loving, starting with this yogurt. So this is the Trader Joe's Greek non-fat yogurt in the flavor pumpkin. Now it does have 130 calories. It does have a little bit more sugar than a lot of the non-fat Greek yogurts. The Chobani Zero Sugar is my favorite. This one has good ingredients because it's made with actual sugar. So again, you are getting a little bit more sugar, but the pumpkin flavor is on point. I love that. I love this yogurt with these. So this is another favorite. These are the pumpkin flavored pumpkin seeds. Now I almost didn't buy these because I have regular pumpkin seeds at home, which I love on my yogurt, but I thought, you know what? The macros on this are pretty similar to regular pumpkin seeds. It's going to bring in the pumpkin spice vibes and I love these. You can see I've made quite a dent. Pumpkin, pumpkin seeds on pumpkin yogurt. 10 out of 10. And both of these you can find at Trader Joe's. Now the other Trader Joe's pumpkin thing that is a staple for me every year, I actually bought two, is the Trader Joe's pumpkin cream cheese. This is just a fall treat that I buy every year and I love this. I'm actually going to have this on a Western bagel and some cottage cheese for breakfast this morning. It is just pumpkin heaven. It is so sweet, it is so spicy, it is so good. Now this sells out quick at Trader Joe's. So I bought two. I plan on making another trip, hopefully, before it's gone, but it is so, so good. The nutrition information is pretty similar to regular full-fat cream cheese, and again, 10 out of 10. I also discovered a dip that I've really been loving. Actually, Troy and I really love this. If you watch my grocery hauls, you know that I ran into the Daisy Sour Cream guy at my local Kroger store, and he gave me coupons for free containers of their new dip. I got a ranch, and I got the French onion. So this is the Daisy French onion dip. This is incredible. This is so good with carrots, cucumbers, chips. It is so good. It is 60 calories for two tablespoons. And we have nice clean ingredients. We have cultured cream, dried onion, salt, sugar, dried garlic, spices, and dried parsley. No carrageenan, no emulsifiers, no thickeners. It is so good. You can see we have made quite the dip in here, but if you love a good French onion dip or ranch dip, ingredient wise, this is the best that you're going to be able to buy for as affordable as it is, and it just tastes really good. It's a sour cream based dip. I mean, what could be better than that? Another pumpkin thing that I picked up when I placed my Clean Simple Eats order that I love more than I ever thought that I would love, and that is their nut butter. Now, you know I'm an American Dream Nut Butter girl through and through. I still love American Dream Nut Butter. I eat it every day. But when I placed my Clean Simple Eats order, I picked up a few of their nut butters to try. And of course, I had to grab the pumpkin spice because it is pumpkin season. Now, what's different about this one is there's pecans in here. So there's little pecan pieces, which adds texture and crunch to the nut butter and is the perfect pairing with the pumpkin spice. You can see I made quite a dent in this. It just smells like pumpkin pecan waffles. That's what it smells like. It smells amazing and it's really, really good. Now the nutrition information is very similar to regular peanut butter, like Skippy and Jif, where with American Dream Nut Butter, the points and calories are usually a little bit less. So again, variety. I like to have a variety of nut butters. I eat nut butter every day and I really like this. This is very, very good on bagels and toast. This is also really good in yogurt. So you could add a little scoop of this to your Trader Joe's pumpkin yogurt and you'll get in some nut butter and then you can top it with the seeds. I feel a new yogurt bowl coming my way, but this is absolutely incredible. And I do have a discount code for Clean Simple Eats. Now you saw me haul these in my Costco haul. These are so good. <laughs> I love Tate's cookies in general. They're a very thin, crispy cookie. And this is their fall flavor pumpkin spice. You can have two cookies for 140 calories. They come in these little individual packets. So here's actually the size of the cookie. So they're a really good size. Honestly, I typically only have one. This is also really good crumbled on top of yogurt bowls, Ninja Creamy protein pudding. If you do the Premier Protein Pumpkin Spice, protein pudding and then crumble one of these on top. Chef's Kiss Delicious. But these are really good. They have a white chocolate chip in them. They're delicious. You can see that we're down to just a few packs left in here. It's just a really good cookie option. Nice clean ingredients and again two cookies for 140 calories. Another Trader Joe's pumpkin find that I pick up every single year are these pumpkin and cranberry crisps. These are little lightweight crispy crackers. By the way, spoiler alert, these are amazing dipped in the pumpkin cream cheese. 
not gonna lie that's a really really good snack these are so good they have a pumpkin flavor and then dried cranberries in this really really thin crispy cracker it says a crispy savory and sweet cracker to complement cheeses dips and spreads super delicious great to add to a charcuterie board great for the holidays if you pick these up for thanksgiving that's a nice addition to like a charcuterie to a charcuterie board or cheese and cracker board they're delicious i will I will definitely be buying a couple more boxes before they're gone. They are seasonal, so snag them as soon as you can from Trader Joe's. Another Costco find are these Archer Farms mini beef sticks. Now these are actual beef, not turkey or chicken sticks. These are really, really good. They're 45 calories, four grams of protein. They're the perfect size. I take these traveling. In fact, these will be coming with me this next week when I head to Hawaii. I took these to California. I'll be taking these when I go to Texas in November. They are the perfect snack with a hard boiled egg, a cheese stick, some crackers, some pretzels. I usually eat one or two of these. And again, 45 calories, four grams of protein. Love these. These are grass fed, grass finished. So really nice quality. And it's kind of nice sometimes to get away from turkey and chicken sticks and actually have beef. These are incredible. I also have a couple protein bar favorites, starting with these. Now, I used to eat these all the time on my weight loss journey, and then I forgot about them. They fell off my radar, and then I saw that they were on sale on coupon at Costco, so I picked up a box, and I haven't looked back since. These are the Pure Protein Protein Bars. Now, in the Costco pack, you got the chocolate peanut butter, the double chocolate, and the chocolate chip. Now, they range from about 180 to 200 calories, and they have 20 to 21 grams of protein. This, to me, is a candy bar. It is so, so good. I love all three flavors. I've been eating these a lot when I'm traveling. It's just a really good way to get into protein. And I forgot how good these were. I don't like a lot of protein bars. I typically stick with the Alani, the Built Bar, and the Premier, the Fulfill coming up next. And now back to pure protein. So this is now a staple for me. I've eaten at least half the box since I picked it up. I love these. And like I mentioned, Fulfill. Now I shared Fulfill bars in my protein supplement video where I talked about all the different protein supplements that I utilize for my weight loss journey. I'll link that video if you missed it or if you need ideas for protein, but I love Fulfill. Fulfill macros are amazing. 150 calories per bar with 15 grams of protein. This is the chocolate salted caramel. I love the brown wrapper or like tan colored wrapper. It's some salty something. It's super good. These are amazing. These two bars, I mean, these are standout favorites for me and really all I've been reaching for since I bought them. Now, you know I love Lakanto. It is my go-to sugar alternative. I use their syrup because there's no caramel coloring in it. I just bought their cinnamon maple syrup. I love that, especially for fall. And when I placed my Lakanto order, I bought these. I've never actually tried these before. These are the mint crunchy little mini cookies. Now, there is two servings in this bag. A serving is 130 calories. They're gluten-free. They have zero net carbs. They are vegan and they are keto friendly. They are sweetened with monk fruit and erythritol. These are really good. Let me show you the size of the cookie. Oh, here's the size. So honestly, a pretty good mini cookie size. And again, there's a lot in here in only two servings. I've been loving these on my yogurt bowls. Again, Ninja Creamy protein pudding. You know I love mint anything, and these are really good. They have a nice decadent chocolate flavor and then lighter on the mint, but you can still taste the mint. They're fantastic. So next time you place a Lakanto order, add some of their mini cookies to your cart. You won't be disappointed. And I do have a 15% off discount code for Lakanto. It'll be down below for you. My other favorite company to order low sugar treats from that I think truly make the best is Chalk Zero. You know I love, love, love me some Chalk Zero. I actually just shared that I picked up some mini marshmallows from them, which by the way are better than regular marshmallows. And then they released a couple of holiday treats. And one of them are these right here. I mean, can we just talk about how stinking cute this little tin is. These are adorable. These are the Chalk Zero Milk Pecan Patties. They are 90 calories a piece. This is what they look like. They are really, really good size. They're big. They're thick. They are amazing. These remind me of chocolates you buy at Seas Candies or those really fancy chocolate stores. They're that 
incredibly good. And one of them is the perfect, perfect sweet treat. They are seasonal for Halloween. Again, they come in this cute tin. Would make a great thing to set out during a Halloween party or a treat for yourself to make it through Halloween without all the Skittles and Reese's Pieces and Milky Ways. This is, these are so incredibly delicious. And then they came out with Halloween cookies. These give me all the Trader Joe's Halloween Jojo vibes. And these are the Halloween donkeys. Again, look at how cute this little tin is. You get two cookies for 130 calories. Now, like I said in my What I Eat in a Day where I showed you guys these when they came in from Chalk Zero, they're really good. They definitely look like an Oreo with orange cream filling. Again, Trader Joe's Jojo vibes. These are made with coconut flour. So if you don't like coconut, you may not like these because they do have a little bit of that coconut flavor because they are a coconut flour base, which is an excellent flour choice, but these are really good. They taste pretty similar to a regular Oreo, but way less points, calories, better ingredients. They smell so good. Again, these tins, they just are so perfect for Halloween. If you have somebody on a weight loss journey, these would make a great little Halloween gift. I plan on eating these myself, but I could see myself picking some more up to take to my girls' night for boot camp or just to have out during Halloween to help stay on track a little bit easier. But both of these products are incredible. And while you're on the Chalk Zero website, grab some mini marshmallows, also incredible. Holy moly, that was a lot of WW food favorites. But I, like I said, there's so many things I've been trying and loving, especially all the fall things. I could just go on and on with WW foods, but we'll save some of those for next month's favorites. So let's jump into some beauty and skincare. Let's start with skincare because I always say that makeup doesn't look good if you don't take care of your skin. I'm 100% a skincare junkie. I have a very regimented skincare routine for morning and night, and I bought this product for nighttime and I love everything about it. And this is the Drunk Elephant Proteiny Power Peptide Resurfacing serum. Now, Drunk Elephant is pricey, but good skincare is pricey and definitely worth the investment. Save your money on makeup and spend it on skincare. This is amazing. You just twist it and the little pump comes up. I pump two and a half pumps into my hand and apply this as my nighttime serum. This resurfaces the skin, fills in fine lines and wrinkles, adds hydration and plumpness. It's incredible. I noticed a difference in my skin within literally a few days of using this. This is a staple for me. This will forever and ever and ever be my nighttime serum. Like I said, it is worth every penny. Good quality skincare is always worth every penny. This is another skincare product I love. This is from Ren Skincare and this is their glowy toner. Now I like to apply this before I apply my other morning skincare products. Tone my skin really, give it some hydration, give it some glow. I love a good glowy anything. If this is glow, I'm in, I'm here for it. I use glowy foundation, which you're gonna see in the makeup part of this. Glowy skincare, glowy sunscreen. I love the Sun Bum Glow 30 sunscreen for your face, fantastic. It's actually what I have on today. It's been in my favorites in the past. I'll link it down below for you, but this Ren Glowy Toner, I really like this. I feel like it just is the perfect start to my skincare and makeup routine. And then the other skincare products I have isn't really skincare for your face. I mean, it's for your face, but it's tanning drops. And this, this is a tanning spray from Saint Tropez. This is the Self Tan Purity Spray. This is amazing. You can see I have made quite a dent in it. It is almost gone. It's about three quarters gone. This smells so good. It smells like grapefruit. It does not smell like tanner, which is always a good thing. And all you do is spray this on your face as the last step of your morning or nighttime skincare routine. I use it at night. So I do all my skincare, moisturizer, everything. And then I spray my face with this and I wake up in the morning and my face is tanned. So it helps to match the tan on my body. You can also spray this on your decollete area, your neck. I'll do that a lot as well. It's really good. I mean, over Overnight, you have tan. And if you're um, if you're someone who doesn't wear a lot of makeup, or if you travel like I am to Hawaii here in less than a week, this is going to be my go-to because I don't wear makeup a lot when I'm in Hawaii. Listen, I'm in the pool, I'm in the ocean, I'm swimming, I'm working on my tan. So this is going to give me that sun-kissed, glowy look on no makeup makeup days, or will just kind of help match your face to your body. I know for me, my face never gets as tanned as my body because I use a lot of sunscreen on my face. This is 
incredible and I will forever purchase this. Now for makeup, I have a couple of makeup products I've been loving and one of them is this foundation. This is actually the foundation I have on today. This is from Anastasia Beverly Hills and this is their Luminous Foundation. Now I told you I love glowy anything foundation included. I love this. It does have a pump top. It is a medium coverage foundation, but can be buildable to full coverage. You can go light-handed for light coverage. It is really beautiful on the skin. I feel like it gives you the perfect coverage and that perfect luminosity and glow. If you don't love super glowy, you can set it with some powder. I do always set my face with powder, but I feel like this just shines through. It is so amazing. I love it. And then the other little makeup thing is from Laneige, and this is one of their lip treatments. I really like this. This is just a lip balm. It is very sheer in color. It gives you just a little bit of wash of pink, but it adds immense hydration to your lips. So if your lips are typically dry, especially as we move into the winter months, you will love this. It also is just the squeezy kind of lip balm applicator. This sits right here on my desk. I use it all the time and I really, really love this. I'm glad I tried this from Laneige. I also love their lip sleeping mask. I will link both products down below for you. And then let's end out the makeup portion with my favorite eyeshadow palette as always. Now I actually just did a full makeup tutorial of this eyeshadow palette on my beauty channel. So if you're not part of my beauty channel, come subscribe if you love makeup and I will link that video down below for you. But that is this beautiful spooky season palette right here from the indie brand or independently owned brand with Doodles by the Bunny who is here on Instagram. This is the Haunted Palette. This is from Gourmand Girls. You guys, this palette, it's everything I ever wanted in a spooky palette, in a haunted palette. The color story of this is absolutely fantastic. There's purples, there's pinks, there's greens, there's neutrals. You can do neutral looks, you can do colorful looks. The mattes in this palette are so buttery soft and blendable. They go from light to mid-tone to super deep, but where this palette shines are these shimmers. You guys, these shimmers, they are buttery, buttery soft to the touch, and they are just absolute gorgeousness. Look at that. Shifty, duochrome, multi-chrome, shimmery goodness. Everything about this palette is beautiful. Everything from the color story to the way that it translates on the eyes. I love this. I've used this so many times and I have over 200 palettes and I've been reaching for this one a lot. So it quickly became my palette favorite for September. I do have a discount for Gourmand Girls Cosmetics. I'll link it down below for you. Definitely, definitely, definitely recommend. So those are all of my September favorites. Woo, we had a lot of favorites. We had some really good makeup favorites, skincare, our little home favorite, as well as lots of WW foods. Let me know down below what are you definitely going to pick up from my favorites. And if you enjoyed today's video, give it a big thumbs up, subscribe, turn your bell on so you never miss a future video. As always, everything I shared with you today, discount codes that I can round up for you will be down in the description box. Click the link. You can shop any of my favorites as well as nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my other favorite things, and come join our Facebook group. We would love to have you. Thank you again so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.